I couldn't have gotten a clip from three, four, maybe even, maybe even five matches ago and played it here instead of recording something new and the same would have been true. Botafogo loses to Vasco da Gama. Four goals to two at home. Once again, with a good first half, but a disastrous second half. It happens with every match. The second half is horrendous. I don't know what happens to this team during the second half. I don't know what Thiago Nunes tells these players at the half. Because every time they come back, they come back worse. I don't understand. The team started well. Victor Sai scored early in the game. He was offsides. But it showed the intentions that the club had for this match. To get quick goals. And then Eduardo scored a beautiful long shot. 1-0. And the team continued to do well until Vasco scored uh, their first goal. With, I think, a mistake from Cheche and a mistake from Ugo. And Gachito kind of coming out of the goal, like, close my eyes and let's just see what happens. And then, during the second half, once again, I think Gachito did not close the angle well. The player from Vasco had a very narrow angle. And he toe-poked it and he scored. It didn't even have to hit the post. It went inside the outside net and went in. That's an angle that, that a goalkeeper has to cover. And then the third goal, Gachito Fernandes sends a ball to Ugo which we all know is not the greatest defensively speaking. He's doing great going forward, one, two, and crossing it in, and long shots, Ugo does great. When it comes to being a defensive fullback, he is not good. He's very weak defensively, very weak. So then Gachito sends the ball up to him. It was a, 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 one, a like a Trojan horse gift, right? He sends that pass, Ugo loses control. The contact happens outside the box, but then I think the foul happens inside the box. So yes, they get into they, they they get into a scuffle outside the box, but then I think the foul happens inside the box and it's a penalty. But let's not forget that the player that the that got the penalty for Vasco da Gama, Paulo Henrique, he should have been sent off by the referee because he had that slide tackle against Victor Sa. It cut Victor Sa left leg and it could have done a lot of damage to Victor Sa. We got lucky that Victor was not injured. No ball from behind and it's a foul on their defensive end that's a red card i'm sorry that's a red card and then that same player suffers the penalty so it did directly affect on the result of the match certainly it did because if paulo Henrique had gotten a red card there vasco would have been playing with 10 men with only one goal ahead and then botafogo would have put the pressure on and vasco wants to complain about the referees because today it worked out in their favor so i want to see a press note from Vasco complaining about the referees today. I bet they won't do it. Is Vasco going to do it? I don't think so. And then the fourth goal, Vehechi got a leg in on the cross, the, it hits the crossbar, hit Gachito on the back, and it goes in. There's nothing really Gachito Fernandes could have done about that. But I will say it again. Gachito Fernandes' time at Botafogo is, is done. His time has come. He needs to go. He needs to go. John Texter... John Texter, man, you have to you have to sign another goalkeeper because we cannot trust John. John got hurt by himself. And then we have Gachito Fernandes. And then we have Igor Gabriel. At this point, just play Igor Gabriel. Because the supporters that go to the stadium and they have every right to do so, they're going to boo Gachito Fernandes. His confidence is gone. Winning mentality is, is stuck in 2023. So we need a goalkeeper. And we need a left back. Maybe, hopefully, Eduardo is back. And we don't have to, to, to sign a number 10. But I think we still need a number 10. Number 10, a left back, and a goalkeeper. And then comes the fact that the Botafogo squad, the roster, all 20, 30 players or whatever, Thiago Nunes is not the coach for the project. The squad has surpassed the level of the one that commands the squad. Thiago Nunes just does not have the caliber to, to be put at the helm of these players. Luis Henrique, Jafim, Chiquinho Suarez, they look at the bench and they see Thiago Nunes. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't think he's a guy. I just don't think he's a guy. Botafogo needs a manager with the personality of managers like uh, Diego Simeone, of uh, Mourinho, 
strong personality and a guy that understands ball, understands how to put these players together. I don't know, man. It just, we have the Libertadores coming up this week against Aurora. We, we're playing away from home. And if we play like we play that second half, the Libertadores is done. And I know John Texter wants that Libertadores title. The main objective of the year is the Libertadores, followed by the Copa do Brasil, and followed by a good performance in the Brasileirão. And if the club happens to have a good first leg like we did in 2023, then perhaps the focus becomes the Brasileirão. Focus is to stay within the Libertadores qualifying um, zone. And that is the goal. Every year from now on for Botafogo is to be in that zone. It's to always play the Libertadores. So, the, so then the club can actually have a chance of winning the Libertadores. The signing that John Texer is making, the signing that these players, that's an indication that we want to win a title like the Libertadores or the Copa do Brasil this year. There are players that are used to high pressure situations with Alain coming in the middle of the year, Gregory coming as well, Damian Suarez, Barbosa. These are all players with strong personalities that can that can handle high pressure during the match. So it's obvious that we're going for these titles that, that will call for elimination round, knockout, knockout rounds. And then if we do well enough to fight for the championship, then that's what we're doing. But with Thiago Nunes, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. He just doesn't have the, the, the traits to lead this team into a Libertadores title. I just don't think so. He's been at the helm since the last five matches of 2023, and Thiago Nunes does not have five wins this year against teams of the level of Aurora. If you can't get the wins against these small teams from Rio, how in the hell are you going to get the wins in the Libertadores? A shameful result at home, 4-2, despite the Puskas level goal that Eduardo had on that second half. That, that inside the box bicycle kick. That is worthy of a Puskas award. It would have been much sweeter if Botafogo was ahead of the score and Eduardo scored that goal. The stadium would have exploded. Instead, there was barely any noise because the supporters left the stadium because they can't handle Thiago Nunes anymore. And I'm sick of it. 2023 is still haunting the club and Thiago Nunes is not the name for the job. Done.